ordered a adjustable CDI unit. And I also ordered a performance uh, ignition coil for the spark plug. But the adjustable CDI unit, that, that caught my interest because when this bike was really lean and I put low octane fuel, I would, it would pink, it would detonate. And then when I put high test fuel in it, it pretty much went away and it wouldn't pink. But it was still too lean. So, I assume that the timing is retarded a little bit. And I like to try to get it advanced a little bit. You know, go up to where it pings and then back off a little bit. The old school method of timing. And uh, I think I could gain a little bit out of it, possibly. Although it's running really good, I don't know how much more I can get out of it. It seems to lack the higher RPM pull, but I think it's the cam grind. The cam is probably ground more for mid-range and low. But you think it would still pull a little bit more when you jet and stuff. Nice old 57. I'm going to hit up a couple of the old trails I used to know in this area. A couple other ones, see how they go. See if they're still there. Somebody's got a trail in there, but it's blocked off. I know I've said it before, but there used to be so many places to ride when I was a kid up in this area. I can understand why people don't want people to ride. I've been in some places where you see people dumping couches. You always get those, you know, scumbags. And it ruins it for everybody else. I'm a firm believer. You bring in garbage, you bring anything in, you take it out. I usually end up with more garbage than I took in. Or if I didn't even take garbage in, I'll pick it up. That's, that's just bullshit. So I was messing around with microphones yesterday. Because I know, if I'm, once I start going fast, it's hard for you guys to hear me. And I had... Anyway, I bought the adapter for my GoPro that went to a microphone, and uh, it must be a piece of shit, because it only records my right channel. Apparently the one with the angle that points up is ha has a problem. I know that one did. What is that? No hunting. like the New York, Connecticut boundary. motorized vehicles huh all right so I guess it's uh we'll see it's like an Appalachian trail now I wonder what what trail this actually is Wow. I'd 
say that trail is uh, no good. Car is still in here. That car was in there when I was a kid. Judging by the amount of posted signs, I guess we'll go. Every time we rode down this back road, one of these people used to call the cops if we were on our dirt bikes. Never fail. And this is all closed too, huh? Holy shit. I bought an extension battery that goes on the back of the GoPro that's supposed to double the battery life. So hopefully I'll get three hours, I guess, or four hours. I ended up having to drill a hole, took a hole saw, put a hole in the back of it, and then just put some clear packet tape on both sides, on the outside and the inside to make it rainproof, just in case, because I'm more concerned with that than anything. Never know, you get stuck in the rain, a big downpour. There's another thing I was thinking of doing. Since there's no oil filter, there's nothing to trap those little loose particles that flow around. The small ones, the ones that, you know, I mean, if it gets through the screen, but that screen's pretty big. Anything small particles, they just keep getting recirculated through the system. I was thinking if we, if I put a little cotton ball, you know, you put the filter screen strainer in the way it goes, and then when the spring holds it, you put a little piece of cotton ball there at the very bottom where the sediment would fall, and whatever tries to get through. It would actually catch them finer particles in, in the cotton ball. Because I looked to see if there was any kind of a conversion. You'd think there'd be a conversion you could screw on and, you know, run a filter somewhere else. I haven't seen anything. I mean, maybe there's not enough pressure on a pump or something. I don't know. psychiatric ward, a bunch of wards. There was a hospital. All these buildings. When I first moved up to this area, they were full. And then as they started closing down the institutions and putting them out into the public, then uh, they turned it into one section, they turned it into Division for Youth Prison for underage youth. And then I, I don't know what happened, they closed that up and a couple people bought it, tried to do stuff. 
I guess there's a lot of asbestos since it was built way back. I don't even, I don't know. I'd love to get in there and it used to be trails all up in the back. But, gotta know somebody. What a shame though, huh? Man, there's a window open. <laughs> this is the front side of it. Look at all that work. There's tunnels underneath all this too. Tunnels that connect the buildings and run all the steam pipes and the electric that come from that with the power plant.